happening this Saturday in the Shoals is Hope Fest. It's an event raising money for people who are less fortunate in the area. That's right. There will be live music, vendors, food trucks, and even a silent auction. Joining us this morning is one of the entertainers on this year's lineup, Van Birchfield, a sax player, writer, composer, and the current Guinness World Record holder for the longest continuous note ever held on a saxophone. Wow. Good morning, Van. <laughs> well, good morning, ladies. How are y'all? We're doing wonderful. Great. Thanks so much good. for being here with us today. Sure. We're going to go ahead and dive right in. Can you just tell us about Hope Fest and, of yes. course, um, the details? Of yeah, this was a brainstorm, um, vision, and heartfelt um, event from uh, Trent Stevenson. Uh, he bur This birthed out of him because he sees so many homeless people now. I guess... With the grocery prices and gas prices, homelessness has kind of gone up uh, lately, and uh, his heart is for helping people, and uh, I just want to give a big shout out to, uh, to Trent and Stevenson for this. It's going to be an incredible all-day event out at the um, out Highway 72, there, um, right by the um, Natchez Trace Harley-Davidson area, and uh, it's going to be a wonderful day. Bring your coolers, bring your lawn chairs. It's going to be live entertainment from noon to until, I guess, as we'll and, say. And they'll get to see you. Who are the other entertainers um, that are joining you? A lot of locals that's um, posted on the um, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I am familiar with a few of them. I've just moved up here from Birmingham. I've okay. been there my well, whole welcome. life. Yeah. Basically, uh, came up here to retire with my wife, and so we uh, love this area, love North Alabama, and are just happy to be here. There's the artists right there. Absolutely. And not only did we mention there will be artists and music, but there's also food. What type of vendors will be out yeah, there? Yeah, a lot of different food trucks. I'm sure you can have anything uh, from pizzas to hot dogs, hamburgers, um, any anything uh, that food trucks bring around. All right. Yeah. And you mentioned, uh, or we understand, there's a motorcycle ride as well. Yeah, they'll come in at around 3 o'clock, 3.30, and um, they'll uh, bring in all those beautiful Harleys and It'll be a fun day, and it is for a great cause. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. And then um, what do you hope is achieved with this festival? Of course, we've talked about it benefiting, um, you know, those who are less fortunate. Right. And with exposing that to the community, just what do you hope comes Really out of it? bringing the community together for this purpose and for other purposes. Uh, once the community starts coming together and pooling their resources, we can do many, many other wonderful things for the homeless and for the children and for the schools. Uh, that's my, my vision is to bring the community together. Uh, and music does that. You know, I've been all over the world. I was in Tokyo, Japan, and I was just wailing on the sax. I didn't they couldn't understand a word of my, you know, communications other than through music. So it'll be a great time and just want to invite everybody to come out around noon um, this coming Saturday. And tell us when again. Or yeah. you just said when, where, yeah. I mean. <laughs> uh, it's out at the uh, Natchez Trace Harley-Davidson on Highway 72, right before you get to the uh, Alabama Hall of Fame. It's just right there on the left. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, a moment we're excited for. Now, we want to see, uh, give the viewers a little taste of what they can expect if they were to okay. come out. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Yes. <clears throat> 